name. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna call you guys now because I don't wanna say hey guys because everyone says hey guys. Anyways, hey ladies and happy new year. So first I just wanna explain why the name changed from Bright Sparks to Tourmaline. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the reason is I was informed that there's another like company with the same name. And they have been they have been there like way before me and I didn't know so I just wanted to you know I didn't want to I, I wanted to avoid any like legal complications and stuff again so just decided a new name so yeah Tomali welcome 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 to Tomali tutoring so today we're going to be doing grade 12 life science and we're going to be focusing on DNA and RNA so yeah I personally love, love, love that topic, and I hope you do too. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> so behind the scenes, back at the ranch, I just wrote this out, and I feel like most of you should know this if you have already gone through the the topic. So I'm just gonna go over it quickly. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribonucleic acid. It's double stranded and the nitrogenous bases that it has is adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm skipping out a whole lot of other things like the fact that DNA has a sugar, a sugar, which is the deoxyribose, and it has a phosphate, and then it has the nitrogenous bases, which is like, skipping out a whole lot of that because. I know you guys are smart <laughs> and you know it. So yeah, just, just yeah. So that's DNA. And then RNA, ribonucleic acid. It's single stranded, whereas DNA was double stranded. And then the nitrogen spaces, adenine, adenine, adenine. And then instead of thymine, it's uracil. And then it's guanine and cytosine. So those are I would put most focus on these four bases because a lot of the work that's going to be examined is basically going to be on your knowledge of these four bases and how they operate. So yeah, that's just the first part. We're good? Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay, so I draw out very a very a very badly drawn representation of a DNA strand. Okay, so firstly, you can see that it is, it's, the shape is, it's a helix shape, and it's double-stranded, so there's one strand, and there's the other strand. So, firstly, just to show you how those nitrogenous bases pair, so the A represents adenine, so here's going to be a T, there's going to be a T, G, a C, and G, a C again. That's just, that's just DNA in its, you know, normal happy state. So when DNA replication happens, the first thing that happens is that this unwinds. Like here, it's gonna unwind. I hope I'm not blocking. It's gonna unwind. Okay. And then here, the thing that binds these two nitrogenous pairs together is um, hydrogen bases. So the hydrogen bases are gonna break. So the hydrogen bases break. Oh, bye. Hydrogen bases break. And then, yeah, when the hydrogen bases um, break, it's gonna be left, because it has unwinded, and then it's, so it's unwinded. So now it's two separate strands. So I'm just gonna erase that. And then DNA replication is gonna. I'm just gonna show you representation. I'm so sorry for like my drawings and all that stuff. Oh, I, I really sucked at this. So yeah. Okay. So. So now this is in the nucleus. <laughs> okay, like there's there's poles. Sorry, nuclear poles. Okay. We are in the nucleus now. So in the nucleus, there's like free-flowing nucleotides. So this is germ um, DNA replication. So there's A here. 
So the free flowing nucleotide, let's say this one, is going to go and pair with that A. And then it's going to be T. And then same thing here. Okay, let's say there was a T. And then an A is going to come. Don't mind my drawings, just kind of like, yeah, that's going to happen. So this process is going to continue for like, with all of okay, these. That's going to leave you with two identical copies. Let's just say I continued. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible because I know when I was a student, I hated watching long videos. So that's how I'm going so far. So yeah, I'm just making an example. So that, that's going to be our two identical copies that are left over. So after that happens, there's, there's, obvi there's obviously enzymes that are controlling this whole process. You don't really need to know um, the names of the enzymes, just know that there's enzymes. So after, after that, um, has happened the the strands are gonna wind back so now you've got like two you've got you've duplicated the original DNA that was here so yeah that's that's DNA replication in essence oh and also I realized that I was saying a lot of I was saying A T that's just like a simple that's that's how I remember it but the A is adenine okay you probably won't see that but the T is thymine the G is guanine or guanine and the c is cytosine so yeah i might be writing t but just always keep that in mind that it is that so that's dna verification again i summarized it to the max if there's something you missed out please drop a comment and be like dude you're going so fast please go slower and then i'll definitely do that the importance of DNA replication in essence. I just feel like writing. Because <laughs> I got this board now. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, the importance of DNA replication is to basically make sure that DNA made a copy of itself. So that, like, that information, when there's mitotic division, so that it can be the same information and not different information. So, it's basically making copies of itself so that. When during cell division, it is the same type of genetic information. So that's mainly the most important part of DNA replication. DNA replication is the easy bit. <laughs> Protein synthesis. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be in the next video. I think that's it. Just introduction, you know, like getting familiar, familiar with DNA and all this stuff. I skipped DNA profile. So that is it for today guys as i said i'm going to skip dna profiling because it's mostly asked as a case study and they give you the diagram so if you're able to kind of interpret the the diagrams then you should be good but if you do need assistance feel free to comment oh and we're also on, on instagram now tomaline tutoring underscore that's that's an underscore so you can always dm me there you know okay dm sounds yeah but you can send me a message there and i can help you out guys we are we are getting those high marks we are getting those distinctions we are killing it okay so yeah as i was saying just know the definitions of um dna profiling know why um the importance of dna profiling like it's used for paternity tests is used to find out um it's used to find suspects in a crime you know those those type of things so just just know them oh and views for and against dna profiling because there's people that are against it and there's people that are for it so yeah just know that and yeah that's it thank you so so much for tuning in guys please subscribe if you haven't almost almost at 100 so that would make me so happy if like we get to 100 and obviously like all the way up you know so yeah please do subscribe and please go follow on instagram terminally tutoring we'll be posting i'll be posting so much more content there and please tell your friends thank you so much bye ladies